Democratic Alliance on a campaign trail. Taking it to another level, party leader John Steenhuisen is leaving nothing to chance. The DA gathered east of Pretoria to launch its Rescue South Africa campaign trail. Optimistic, Steenhuisen says the DA remains the only party to save South Africans. For the first time in 30 years, the next election results are not a foregone conclusion and that there's everything to play for in this election. In every previous election, we all knew the ANC was going to win. We just needed to work out by how much. So the first, the first bit of hope and good news this evening is that those days are long gone. He reminded those gathered here that, in these elections, it's now or never. Cyril Ramaphosa has failed to do any of this because he is a coward and cannot stand up to the people in his own party. He will never create millions of new jobs, but I will. He will never he will never end load shedding and water shedding, but I will. He'll never put the state capture Basasa crooks in jail, but I will. So forget about all the noise. In this election, there are two choices, Doomsday or the MPC, and that is the reality. And a plea to South Africans. Do not vote for an opposition party if they're not committed to the multi-party charter because these are wolves in sheep's clothing. They will take your vote and they will give it to the EFF, the ANC and the Doomsday Coalition. Number two, do not vote for parties that have given up on the north of the country because they focused only on the Western Cape. Number three, do vote for the DA. The DA leader took a swipe at the possible relation of the ANC, which has been governing for 30 years and the third largest party in the National Assembly, the EFF, as well as the newly formed MK party. One thing South Africa can't afford in this election is to get rid of the ANC and then bring in a government that is even worse. And the one thing that will seal South Africa's fate of doom would be if we end up with a national coalition between the RET faction and the ANC, the EFF, and Mr. Zuma's new party, the MKP. And the people, the Brentus poll shows that MK is already polling at 13% nationally. It means that they're going to be the third largest party in the country. The EFF is only in fourth place with 10%. John Steenhuisen further says South Africans should not trust the patriotic alliance in these elections as the party has no best interest of South Africans at heart. On coalition politics, he believes for a coalition to work is when the partnership is formed with the democratic alliance as an anchor. Ntantla Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.